I like whipped cream. And, uh... Too easy. We should, too easy. This was too easy, yeah. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just gonna have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not gonna be hard to do. of at home on the range here in the garage at the village Crean in Newport Beach so what are we gonna cook tonight we're gonna make eggs Benedict which is gonna be an experience because never before have I made eggs Benedict <laughs> now I made I made him this afternoon for the first time ever and it was awful <laughs> it was awful well speaking of eggs if you watch our show you know we have this constant debate about brown eggs which I see you have again. It's not a debate. It's just the way it is. Well, John tells me that brown eggs come from brown chickens. Right. See, another person yeah. that did not believe Well, they don't know. Anyway, I got a fax the other day from Jack and Patty Swellenbach. And it says, Dear Barbara, we were sure John was pulling your leg a few weeks ago when he told you that brown eggs came from brown chickens and white ones from white chickens. He's right. At the egg laying contest at the Orange County Fair, we saw it with our own eyes. The brown eggs laid brown chickens. Our apology, apologies the to The eggs Chef laid brown chickens. <laughs> no, my eyes are going. The brown chickens laid brown eggs. All right, all right, I'm right, so, all right. I have to say, you might be, you might be right. And then we got a fax from the Screw Works. The what? It's called, no, no kidding. It's called the Screw <coughs> Works. And it's a precision machine shop, I guess. Um, and this gentleman, his name is Steve Lee. He says, Barbara, my girlfriend and I love your show and would like to be in the audience, which of course you can be if you wait till the break, you can see where, how you can get uh, on the reservation list. It says, last night's show of cream chip beef on toast, or as we called it in the Coast Guard boot camp, SOS, brought back memories I would just as soon forget. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd love to come to your show, thanks, Steve. That wasn't one of our better recipes. No, no. Yeah, I, no. You know what happened on that recipe? Oh, tell me. I've made it a lot of times, but I, when I buy the chip beef on the can, or the jar, it's a little jar, it, it had a recipe on how to make it. And when I bought it the last time, there was no recipe. <laughs> so, so I had to fake it. I, I had to fake it, and it didn't work. Well, I just got faxed to death here this week, and this is another fax I got from Betsy. And Betsy faxed us from Allergen in Irvine. I wonder if all these companies know that their employees are, like, spending time faxing us. <laughs> got nothing else to do. <laughs> and it says, Dear Barbara, it's simply terrific how you and John put on a three-ring circus night after night. It's also nice to know there are others out there like me who are not gourmet chefs in the kitchen. I think she's talking about you. No. Thanks for all the laughs. Please don't change your format. I fear that a sitcom would detract and prevent you from doing what you're good at. Just being naturally silly. Lady is absolutely right. Barbara is one of the silliest people I've ever known. <clears throat> And then, I have to read this to you because this is for real life. What is it? This is from the Orange County Register, and it says, In the Buff Grandma Chases Off Car Thieves. Okay. No, it really does. It says a What has that got to do with cooking? Well, this was just something funny that I saw that I just couldn't believe and thought I would share it with you. Oh, that's good. All right. Um, it says here, A British grandmother who chased off two car thieves in the early hours Saturday morning only realized she was stark naked when neighbors peered from their windows. <laughs> After the shouts. 
I ran downstairs, flung the door open, and started running down the street, said the grandmother. They looked completely amazed, left the door open, and fled. <laughs> <laughs> she said, she says here, by the time the lights were on in the houses and the neighbors were looking out wondering what was happening, it was then that I remembered I was completely stark naked. Okay. <laughs> ah, why don't we cook? I think we do better I cooking. Think we're, I think we're we better should cook. cooking. We should cook. So now let's cook, cook something that you've never done before. Yeah, well, what an exciting gonna, experience. Now we're going to start with some hollandaise sauce, which I have done before, and that's one of the main parts of... Uh, of um, uh, this what is are we a making? weird looking... Pan. Uh, you're pouring. What are we making? Um, eggs. Eggs Benedict. Something. Eggs Benedict. And so we're going to put the. Um, this What's is this called? That's a double boiler, because it's got wa water in the bottom and, and the thing well, in the top. Let's show the water in the bottom, and it'll both be versatile. You know, we ought to have a little more water. It boiled away while you were talking. What did this? <laughs> what this? I don't know what this great naked grandma had to do with it. Now we can put that back on. There. All right. Now we got three egg yolks. Now, I, I don't you have whites in there, too. Well, no, they're yolks. No, a little, bit, little bit of white. And, and, you know, I don't know. What do you do with the whites when you do... Well, never mind. Let's go ahead. Uh, and this is, um, I think, two teaspoons full of uh, lemon juice. You think? And one... No, yeah, it's two teaspoons full of lemon juice and one tablespoon full of water. And this is some salt, and I'm going to fool them. They're not going to be able to make those noises because... Hey, we've got to start stirring. Oh. Yeah, the eggs will cook if you don't start stirring. Stir, stir. Um... They look like a happy face. Look. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Sir, sir, sir. And then there's some cayenne pepper and salt. Cayenne pepper. How cayenne much pepper. cayenne pepper? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt. Okay, now, you're going to stir stirring. Good. Now, I'm going to break some eggs while you're okay. stirring. You've got to stir that constantly. Know what you're sweating. Am I sweating? Yes. Well, that's all right. It's warm. And I have to tell you, it looked like you just woke up in that shirt. Did you? Did you? I... You know, this, I mean, this, this week has been like tough. Not like you got dressed up well, for the show or anything. Barbara, let me tell you what happened. What happened? What happened? I, yes, sir. I, what am I doing here? Oh, I just want to put that in there. That's right. I, uh, it's been a tough week, and, and uh, I sent my other shirt, because I've only got two shirts. I had one shirt. We had one shirt lasted a whole year. And um, I sent it to laundry, and it didn't come back. So this shirt was wrapped up in a thing, you know, and so I had to undo it. It's a little wrinkled, but that's all right. A little wrinkled? Yeah. <laughs> and my shorts were gone, too, so I had to put so I had to put these shorts on. Well, the folks can't see them, but these shorts aren't all that nice, you know. But, all right. Well, I'll tell you, <clears throat> I'm so glad you got dressed for this occasion. You know what? I broke an egg yolk. Do you think that's going to make a lot of difference? I don't think so. Huh? And my wife bought me this little... Here. Now that is a handy dandy yeah. pan. Isn't that something? Look at that. It's got three little holes. Yeah. And again, it looks like a happy Because you know what? I've made a lot of a lot of poached eggs during the war. The big war, you know? It was in the paper. <laughs> they and we had poached eggs on corned beef hash. But we never po on a menu it said that, but we never poached them. We always fried them. It okay, was, that makes a lot of sense yeah. to me. So that's why I had to have a good excuse for never ever poaching an egg, but that's what happened. Now, what is, this is where you drip, drop that, dribble that water in there. There's a little bit of butter in there. Okay. A little bit of butter in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And I did this this afternoon, and it did work. So you just drop those little suckers in there? Yeah, just like that. Now, what about the broken one? Well, we'll do the same thing with it. So you can only make three of these at once. That's all. No, you could make six if you had two pans. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, then that looks all disfigured. That's going to be a good one. You know, I like my egg yolks very well done anyhow. That's the way I would do it if it was going to be for me. Now we're going to put the lid on. And, and that's uh, it? How long did you cook it? Three minutes. I'm glad you mentioned that because four minutes. Um, should fire be on that? Fire is good to be on it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it, the fire's on, isn't it? A little bit. Should very a, little. Should we have a little more fire? Sure. Crank is it, it up. Is this it? What, I don't know, mm. that's the right front, no, right rear burner. Now, four minutes. You know, this is really easy. We should have had more. Is that, oh, oh. It's like lumping. Yes, we forgot that. <laughs> Keep stirring. Stir fast, Barbara. Stir fast. Um, I, this is like pudding. Did you stir know fast. that? Stir fast. Stir, 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 stir. Don't stop. Don't stop. Well, we'll we have plenty it. of time to make We're another batch. No, we, we don't have the stuff. Oh, add some water to it. It's, it's going to be all right. Just keep stirring. Ooh. 
Oh, boy. <laughs> What's this for? Keep stirring. That's for the uh, English muffins and the ham. Ah, it's, get, it's getting better now, isn't it? All right. Huh? <laughs> no, this... No, there was there was three quarters of a cup of butter, and that's what the recipe calls for. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. have a feeling that these people have actually cooked before. No, no, no. It doesn't. <laughs> no, it does. It's three quarters of a cup of butter. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Why don't you just give me that thing? Well, no, because it, it won't it won't melt if you put it all at once in. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Well, this okay. looks like a now cholesterol killer to me. Uh, hey, that's what it is. It's hollandaise sauce, and that's the way it is. And you put it on asparagus and a lot of stuff. Really? Is it, is it, yeah. Is it fire on? I don't like asparagus. Yes. There's a lot of things Barbara doesn't like. She hardly eats anything, in fact. Now, hey, I had some, do I? What? Yeah, here they are. English muffins. You know, we were in the store today, and, and you had to see the the debate that went on over buying English muffins. I just picked up the Wonder Bread in English muffins, but he had a certain size and type that he was looking for. And they all looked the same to me. Well, they got to fit, because now these are the kind that aren't cut all the way in two. They call them, it almost sounds, well. Fork split. I said, yeah. get the fork split. Sounds obscene, <laughs> doesn't it? Boy. Well, they told us on the home show we couldn't use those four-letter words beginning with F. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because the lady from Standards and Practices would be calling us again. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'm getting to know her intimately, actually. <laughs> the, the <la> you <laughs> know, yeah, the lady from Standards and Practices looks like a, a... Well, she looked like a nun. Right. And, and we were talking to somebody, and that's what... They, she is a nun. <laughs> Golly. Now this okay. is this isn't butter though. This is margarine. This is margarine. Butter is very expensive. <coughs> and, and besides that, butter has got bad chloris, uh, got cholesterol in it, and, and the margarine doesn't. It's better um, for Now you. this is getting really strange looking. It's separating. We got you got to stir. Well, I'm stirring. Right, I mean. Right. See like this. See. This is hard. See, see? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you know it's just about it's just about ready anyhow. Okay. So we're gonna not careful there. Okay. Is this 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 is hot? Yeah. Is it hot? How about if we like put a little of this? No, in the no, seat? Barbara. <laughs> Why don't you just put this in the toaster? Well, because you do it this way. Oh, that makes perfect sense to me. No, I knew you. I knew you'd understand. Square ham. Yeah. Barbara wanted to buy round ham. Well, I thought that's the only way it came. Yeah, well, it had that, it had that, that stuff on the outside, you know. That you had you to have cut to... away the stuff on the outside? Yeah, yeah. You know, I never knew that before. I serve my husband's sandwiches. I just leave all that stuff on. <laughs> right, honey. Oh. oh, 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 the eggs are done. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see Are they those? supposed to be that color? Sure. That's beautiful. They started out to be really yellow. Put, now they look like... That's the way they are. Put the lid on. All right, we're going to set that over now, because they're all done. We don't have done any more than that. Okay, won't let's they turn keep that fire cooking, off. though? Okay, yeah, well, right, they need to cook. left, no, this right one. rear. This one. All right, okay. The stove photogenic works very well, but... You know, this is all... We're having trouble with this right and left. This business. is almost done already. How much time have we got? I don't know. The timer went off. No, I mean the 21 minutes. You know, you probably won't have to edit any out of this show. Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> this is almost done, you know that? It is. Yeah. That's yeah. a pr pretty thick piece of ham you got over That's there. That's three pieces of ham. How come? That ham was so thin. Look at that. It's, 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 it's three, three pieces. It How was already thin sliced. Was it? Well, it was this thin. See, there's three pieces there. Can the camera see that? No, pick it up. It's no. hot. You take it with your nails, that's why. Oh. See? And you can see through it. Right. So we've got three pieces. Right. Okay. But now if you laid it there, then it would sizzle. Oh, boy. All right. Now, you know what? We're what? just, we're just, we're almost done here. Is this ready to assemble? Well, just kind of. I thought Holland.
hollandaise sauce was creamier and yellower. Well, no, that's hollandaise sauce right there. Except it kind of separated because you didn't stir. But that's I all have right. been stirring. Oh. I mean, oh, and your wife's good china. Uh oh, when she sees this, this show, is, she's gonna have a fit. This is the good stuff. <laughs> this is the. That's real. You know, that's real gold on there. I know that's real gold on there. Does she know you have this in no, the garage? No, she I'm doesn't. sure she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't. No. She doesn't. Now we're gonna turn this fire off here. Okay, Can that you, is the. Yeah. That's the left. This left front. That's it. You're All getting right. really good oh, at this. Boy. All right. All right. Now, are you ready to pour this sauce on? No, no, not yet. But soon. 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 We're, we're awful close here. Now, if I can get the... It, it, there wasn't any instructions with this pan, so I'm not sure how you get the eggs out of the... Uh, <laughs> out of the thing. Boy, I'm, I'm twisted up in my cord here. You're twisted. Oh, no. Where are you? I'm all right now. There I'm all right you go. Now. So I'm going to try it this way and see what happens. Want to do it over this burner? Oh, good idea. Good idea. The reason she wanted to do that is because that's where the camera was. Oh, it's coming out all right. Oh, look at that. Isn't that great? Look at that. Oh, oh. Right. look at that. Oh, boy. You know, we're all done already. We didn't even run out of, we didn't even run out of, um, of, um. Tape. It's called tape. Tape, tape. Yes. Tape, yeah. Okay, we, so now usually, can I put this on? We usually have but a. Look at uh, this one. This one looks anemic. No, that's, just, that's the one that broke. That it's looks like nice. a mutant egg. Yeah, well, we'll put this on last. I hope so. That is wilted under the lights, you know. Boy, oh, boy. Let's see here. Let me see if we can get that put back together there. Because if you don't keep stirring this stuff, it does separate. I have been stirring. No, right. I'll no, tell you, this stirring is a thankless job. <laughs> okay. What do we do, Barbara? We're gonna, this is the first time we I'm ever I'm sure finish. they don't treat Vanna White like this on the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but boy, she looks good, you know that? <laughs> she doesn't do anything but turn numbers, and she doesn't complain. They give her a lot of money. Yeah, well, when I start getting the big bucks, I'll be quiet, too. <laughs> We're going to get a check from the home show pretty soon. Oh. Uh, I hope so. I had a phone call from, from uh, Raymond. Yeah. When we were gone, he called. <laughs> Is he ready to get rid of us off the home I, show? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's a little scary. <laughs> Okay, and then you take wilted parsley. Well, this parsley was really good when I brought it out of the refrigerator. Look at this. Look at that limp parsley. But they always put, at Denny's, they always have parsley on stuff. <laughs> yeah. Look right. at the poor parsley. Now, look, you know, isn't that, isn't that quick? Now, that was so fast to make this, these, um, um, what did we make? What is it? Uh, Eggs Benedict. Eggs oh, thank Benedict. You. Thank you. Thank you. I got a short memory. When you get old, it's that way. So, uh, and then we got one more over there. That one doesn't look any better. You know, I saw this served. This is a very good um, thing that you can order for, like, Sunday brunch. Most of the restaurants and hotels in the area have that for Sunday brunch. Now, I don't happen to eat it, but I know my husband does, and I've never seen them bring something like that to the table. What do you mean? Something like what? What are you talking about? Like this. It's just, I don't know, for some reason. Is there anybody out there that orders oh, this, this regularly? Well, the sauce separated a little bit, but that's because you didn't stir it. You got When you put the butter, you, gotta, you just got to keep stirring it where it separates. Well, we'll, separate. uh, we'll experiment. We'll feed but it to our cameraman. That won't, hurt, that won't hurt the taste of it. <laughs> well, that's very good. And if our well, cameraman survives, we'll be back next week. Another successful dish. Bye! Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, What's going on? Oh, boy. Then, you know, since I was into this panty thing, I got a panty fixation. I just don't know what it is. Well, this, this was really kind of cute. I saw this, and I, I have a friend who's getting married now, so I thought this would be cute for her. This is called ripcord panties. Okay. <laughs> do we have a taker out there? Um, somebody must have these on. I just heard now, a song. Now, what do they do? Okay, well, they're Velcro on the side, so you just pull the ripcord, and boom. Wow. Wow. All right. You know what? You would have had real fun if they would have had these in your day. Boy. Hello. <laughs> they would have called in, you Ripcord Johnny. In my day. <laughs> uh, in my day, in my day, they didn't wear panties. <laughs> Not if, not if they were a sport. Not if they were a sport. No. 
Deer at home on deranged. My husband was so impressed when he walked into the living room and saw me watching a cooking show. I haven't cooked a decent meal for this man in 10 years. He was so proud of me that I have an interest in cooking again. Boy, was he wrong. You are the only cooking show I will ever watch. I need the laughter and fun as well as the tips on jewelry and shopping. <laughs> the heck with this cooking stuff. Bring on John and Barbara and let's eat out. All right. All right. And this is yeah. from B. Morantz. Yes, okay. Which I thought was funny. And then um, this is the last one, which I thought was really kind of cute. It says, Deer at Home on the Range, I thought I was hallucinating the other night as I was flipping through the channels. I couldn't believe what I was hearing and seeing. A rather large man with a stuffed armadillo who mentioned in passing that its little huevos was stuffed. <laughs> a chef who is marginal at best with a stiff hat problem. And a bubbly redhead with more jewelry than I'd ever seen before demonstrating a battery-operated cucumber that should not be used as a marital aid. That's <laughs> <laughs> huh. why we listen. I remember that show. Okay. I try to, I'm trying to forget it. <laughs> it says, where have you been all my life? Finally, something different on TV. Get off cable and get on network. They need you badly. And this is... <laughs> Okay. Lots okay. of laughs, and this is from Barbara Hoffer. So we got some really yeah, fun that, mail tonight. That does sound like genuine mail. Did you know, oh, you know what? Um, I got a call today from the head of the Opera Pacific in, Did you? Uh, yes, in Costa Mesa. And you know what? We are going to be in the opera in I September. Know. Yes, we are. We I'm gonna really be the, are. I'm going to be the mayor of Seville. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I'm going to be a slut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Barbara won't have to Barbara won't have to rehearse either. Uh, now here. Well, you know, it was we I love to go to the opera and so because we can't sing or anything, but they have these things called supers and they're all the extra people that stand around with spears and stuff. And so we said that we wanted to be supers. And so they're doing Carmen for the first part of the, um, the season in September. And that's how, and I've been, you know, kind of lobbying to be in the opera. And so they made him the mayor. What kind of a, what kind of a costume will I have being mayor? I don't know. It's got to be pretty nice, though, I would think. Think so? Yeah. Well, I'm just concerned. I just want to have good cleavage. <laughs> Are you going to put flour in that? Boy, what are we doing? 